Here to give us the trades today, Matt Maley is Miller Tabak's chief market strategist. Matt, it's great to see you, and I'll turn it over to you. What do you do with Advance Auto? It's, it's just so hard to go after a stock like this when you have that kind of negative news. I mean, it's, it's one thing when you have negative earnings. There's another thing to have really negative guidance. But then on top of all that, you slash the dividend. I mean, you don't just cut it slightly. You majorly slash uh, to the dividend. Uh, this, this creates uh, some serious problems for, for, for the stock and for the company overall, because some of this stuff seems to be company specific. I mean, we've seen some, some margin uh, problems in that industry uh, from some of the other auto retailers recently, but nothing like this. So uh, I, I really worry about it. Now, I'm also a little worried about the uh, consumer overall, because, you know, we're starting to see, you know, we're here from a, a lot of different companies that they're worried about the consumer standing, as consumers starting to pull on their horns a little bit. We're also starting to see it in places like Visa and MasterCard, where their stocks are, are starting to roll over for the first time in a while. So, hmm. uh, you know, the retail area is something I'm a little bit worried about. But when you get the company-specific things here, uh, this is a stock you need to avoid until you have a better understanding of, of why they miss their, their things by, by such a wide margin. Yeah, we're showing that. And, and Visa, which is down 5% this month. I'm glad you highlighted that. So let's move on to something a little bit more idiosyncratic that has been working. C3AI having an unsurprisingly remarkable 2023, up 250%, but giving back about 10% of that today. Now, last quarter, they hiked their previous guidance about two weeks ago. The manager team saying the business overall for enterprise AI is the most active they've seen and seems to be accelerating. So we're watching to see if that's true and how their path to profitability is progressing. You'll remember short seller Carousel Capital also accused them of accounting issues back in April. The CEO has said the letter contains not a word of truth. All right, Matt Maley, C3 AI, the only part of the market that's really been working. What do you do with this stock? Well, the hard part about this, is, as you just men mentioned, Kelly, is they they, they pre-announced just two weeks ago. So you're going to think, are they going to do a, you know a, a repeat of what we saw from Nvidia, where they just absolutely uh, you know clobber expectations and just knock it out of the park? It's hard to do that just two weeks after you pre-announced. So and and of course the stock is up 60 percent since since that uh, uh, pre-announcement, 150 uh, percent uh, this month just just on its own. And we've seen until today anyway a parabolic rise in, in the stock and. And even if you think this thing's going to 10,000 by the end of the year, no stock moves in a straight line. And again, like you mentioned, they really haven't made uh, money yet. They're, 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 <laughs> they readily admit that. So I just, again, it's not something I want to be shorting here because of, you know, all the momentum with all these stocks. I mean, their ticker is AI. So I'm sure they're going to mention the term AI plenty of times in their conference call. Uh, but the point is, uh, I just think when uh, you got to be careful up here after big parabolic moves are always followed at some point by a pullback and you should be able to buy the stock at a cheaper price at some point in the coming weeks.